Hello and welcome to today's episode of Trains in Vietic. This is the fourth part of uh, my introduction to the ESU Mobile Controller 2. For this one I'm showing you how to connect the Wi-Fi access point that was provided with it. First thing I'll need to do is disconnect the Ethernet cable. For me it's this purple cable but due to the fact of how I got my system wired in I can't actually show that being disconnected but that's an Ethernet cable. Once you've done this you then need to turn on DHCP uh, allocation form for ECOS. So you click on your banner symbol, click on the IP and then spawn DC spawn turn off get IP address and then turn on spawn uh, spawn DHP web server so you then press OK and set up Wi-Fi but as I haven't got the Wi-Fi system plugged in just yet it's going to be timing out on me. So I'll just press close for the time of being and show you setting up the Wi Fi router. Okay, here are the parts you need to get started. First of all, is a network cable. Previously, I thought it could be a crossover, but with a bit more research, it's a standard Ethernet. So you can't plug this from your e course to your computer. You will need to have a special crossover cable if you're using that method. But you just plug it into your router like so and plug it into the back of the ECOS. Okay this is now plugged into the back of the ECOS. So the next bit is to plug in for power. So I'm just going to get that done. It's a short cable, so I'll quickly grab the extension lead and show you what happened when I power it up. Okay, this is for Wi-Fi access point, and I now got the Ethernet plugged in there and the power plugged in there. You have the Easy Connect button, and then you have a few additional indicators. So I'm now going to just plug this into power. and you can see it's powering up. So I'll now go back into the settings on the ECOS. Try to keep the router in view, but this will be a bit harder. That's a bit better now. So I press OK and set up Wi-Fi. So I can see it's actually communicating. It's taking a bit of time, but it's showing Ethernet connected uh, wireless LAN is up. So I'll just turn on the controller to see if that makes any difference. Okay, turning on my mobile controller and just letting everything to beat up. It will take a bit of time, but hopefully everything will work. As I have followed the instructions, you've just had a flash of light. So when the controller actually load up, I need to connect to that base station as my Wi-Fi access point. But it's all just taking a little bit of time to load up. I should have thought and loaded up the hand controller um, beforehand. 
I can see a bit of activity on Ferita. I mean access point. But if I load up train control, it will come up with nothing available as I haven't selected Ferita. So just change which Wi-Fi, go into the settings, hold on for Wi-Fi, and then it's ESU Wi-Fi, and connect. And I now got a lot of flashing lights. I'm really not sure what the ECOS is currently doing at the moment. As it's taking a while to do not that much. So what I'll do is just pause everything, reboot and then explain what's going on. Okay, I'm not quite sure what I did wrong to get the system going but I'll explain to you what needs to be done. You press your spanner set setting, then you press your IP settings, then you need to set an IP address, which in my case I've done 192.168.11. Then you need to put a net mask of 255.255.255.0. Then you need to turn on spool DHP server, and then press OK and set up Wi-Fi. For some reason the OK and set up Wi-Fi didn't actually work correctly for me. But uh, I left it running for a few minutes and I managed to connect my controller. As I just powered off it's take a few seconds to load but you can now see I got Logo, 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 I got a uh, full Wi-Fi signal. So let's see what type of trains I can collect. So, let pl oh, that was the wrong button. Press plus and you can choose another s train to play with. So I'll take 37 grey. I haven't changed the logo yet, it's still there. So I'll treat his horn to show that he's working. You have got a, a, what do you call it, accessories as well by clicking on that button. You need to download panels, which are the panels you use on your ECOS. So you press that, you press accessory panel, then you press a download thing you need to go into your accessory panels on the e-course and see which one it is so I want a uh, page 615 for my light so if I do page oh it's panel 61 no panel 65 and I want 5 so I press download I don't think I downloaded the wrong one. Yes, I have. So I'll just get rid of that one. And do the same again. Panel accessory. So that's 61. And page 1. Oh, it's 61 I need and page 1 and press download load that up and I've got control of my lights and they do work so that's that for today. 
I have a bigger play with this and then in a couple of uh, weeks time come back and show what I have learned. The problem with the previous episode was down to my home network not being strong enough to reach me up in the attic so it's not a problem with the ECOS and this today's slight little thing I think the access point was preset up for me which was useful but um, I need to remember that next time but if you have the same problem as me where about I wasn't sure if it was working I just used my mobile phone and connected to that so that was telling me that for everything was working then I just tried the controller and everything worked fine so I'll see you next time make sure to like subscribe and share uh, I'll have a link to my previous videos somewhere so see you next time Richard